Here's a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. I'm going to show you how to insert a physical SIM card as well as how to double check the mobile settings. So the first thing is we need to eject this um, SIM tray here. So let me just put it back in and I'll show you how to take it out. Go ahead and grab your SIM ejection tool. You should get one in your box. And it's in your box in this little pamphlet right here. You can see I got my cable there and here's my SIM ejection tool, okay? Now if you don't have that laying around, you can always use a different SIM ejection tool from a different phone. You can even use like a paper clip like this or the back of a stud earring, even a bobby pin as long as the needle's kind of long and thin, okay? So from here, we're going to go ahead and the top left-hand side, you'll see the uh, tray right there in a little tiny hole. So we're going to get our SIM ejection tool and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and stick that needle in there and I'm going to press towards the phone. So when I press towards the phone, press towards the phone and that lip will just come out a little tiny bit right there and let's go ahead and pull this out. Now, so I just pulled this out. Now, now I want to turn this over because this is where we're going to put the physical SIM card. Okay. Now by looking at this, um, this SIM tray here, I can see there's a diagonal cut cut on diagonal cut on the bottom right hand side there so I'm just going to match my sim card to that okay so you can't get this wrong okay now the thing is when you put it in there make sure it's nice and flush in there okay so hold the edge when it's in hold the edge and just bend it make go upside down make sure it doesn't fall out okay now we're going to make sure that this top you see the top hole right there we have to line it up okay the top hole is right there Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in right here. And before I turn that in, let me just show you. So it should say like no SIM right now. So let me slide this in just like that. And let's see if it finds it. Okay, so I heard that. That's good. I got a voicemail already and I can see my reception bars. Now, some of you have certain carriers. It may ask you to go ahead and restart the phone. Okay, but anyway, so we have the SIM card in. Now let's just double check the um, settings here, okay? So let's go to the settings here and we're gonna check the mobile settings, all right? So from here, uh, we're gonna tap on connections now, right here. Tap on connections, or I'm sorry, we're gonna move over here and we're gonna look for mobile networks, okay? Tap on mobile networks right there. And we can see here, they turned on my data roaming by default. Some of you guys may get charged over, you know, after a certain point with data roaming and whatnot, so just be careful. I have unlimited data roaming, so I always leave mine on. You can see they did the allow 5G service, cool, 2, 2G service too. And let's go into network operators, and it's set to automatically. And my access point name, it should be my carrier here in the U.S., which is T-Mobile. So everything looks good. I'm up and running, and I'm ready to rock and roll, right?